Hello everyone, my name is Sydney Thompson, and today I will be sharing with you the brief story of how I developed into the person that I am today. I was born into a rather small family. I had one older brother named Tyler, and my parents were happily married. Life was pretty good, and pretty easy. But things started to change around age four when my parents divorced. This was a hard time in my life, and I can connect it specifically to Eric Erickson's lifespan model, in which he assesses different demands that each age group faces, and how we develop because of these demands. Specifically, I connected with his 3-5 to five year old age group, in which children start asserting control over their environments. I had to take control of a bad situation when it came to communicating with both of my parents and trying to find even ground between both of them and still feel comfortable around both of my families. When I did so successfully, I felt happy and whole. But when I failed to do so, I felt grief and guilt, as though I was not doing my part. But my families grew and both of my parents remarried. The next major life event was my sister's birth. I can connect this with Carol Gilligan's model of moral development, where she assesses the woman's role of taking care of others and having responsibility over others. Specifically, I shifted from selfishness to responsibility, in which the desire to take care of oneself remains, but in conflict with the sense that the right thing to do is to take care of others. I had to realize that I was no longer the most important person in my life, and that responsibility had to take over selfishness. Through this, I learned to become a more selfless person, and I learned that taking responsibility over others was something that I had to do in order to move on in my life, and in order to become a better person. The next major life event was when I moved to college. This time period specifically connect to Eric Erickson's model, um, specifically age 12 to 18, in which a teen needs to develop a sense of self and personal identity. In starting college, I had to start taking care of myself and figuring out who I am and where I belong. I left many friends and many family back home. Therefore, I had to really find out who I was as I started to connect and make relationships with other people. When I did so, I found out who I really was, and I still do so every day. And this is how I became the person that I am.